Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Nicholas Hitter. I am one of the student ministers here at Mount Gilead, and uh, I just want to welcome you all to our daily devotion. Um, today, I just kind of want to um, take a look at something that I think we could all do um, and that I think we are called to do as Christians um, that I think is just incredibly important, and I hope that it will brighten your day, but also brighten somebody else's day. Today, I want to talk about encouragement. And encouragement is one of those things that we have all experienced before. We have been encouraged in some way. And right now, I want you to take a second to just think about a time where you have been encouraged, whether it was um, somebody just complimenting you, whether it was somebody telling you you did a good job, whether it was somebody just uh, thanking you for something you had done. We have all been encouraged at some point in times in our lives. And encouragement has a major impact in our lives. I will tell you, I have experienced encouragement that has taken me from what I thought was a horrible day to having a great day. And I'm sure some of us have experienced things like that. And believe it or not, Scripture talks quite a bit about encouragement. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says this, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. You see, the Thessalonians, at this point in time, uh, Paul was writing to them and telling them to be ready for when um, Jesus was going to return, telling them to be prepared and to make sure that they... Uh, we're living for Jesus every single day and not losing sight of him. And one of the things that he told them here in 1 Thessalonians 5 was to encourage one another and build each other up. Romans 12, verse 7 and 8, Paul puts uh, encouragement as one of his list of um, spiritual gifts that he believes that we can be used. Uh, verse 7 starts, if it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Paul clearly thought that encouragement was an important thing for the church. Believe it or not, encouragement can bring us closer to God. Because when we are encouraging one another, when we are encouraging others, we are living like Jesus lived. Jesus was incredibly encouraging to those who needed it. He was full of encouragement. And just like Jesus was, we too can be encouraging people. And if we are living like Jesus, our lives are simply an example of what Christians are. And through that, people will see God living in us. Jeff talked a few Sundays ago about Mount Gilead being a place where the presence of God is felt or is known or is here. And one of the ways that the presence of God can be felt is through the encouragement of his believers. And so today, I simply want to challenge you to be an encouragement. Encourage somebody, whether it is somebody that is an absolute stranger, whether it is a complete random act, whether it's somebody that you know who really needs that encouragement. I want to challenge you to do that, to be that light of encouragement for somebody else. Just as someone has done for you in the past, go and be an encouragement today. Pass on that joy that comes with encouragement, that happiness that can come with it, that we can pass on as believers in Christ. I hope that this was encouraging for you. I want you to know that I am praying for you today and uh, praying that we can go out and be an encouragement in the lives of so many. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. We thank you for your word that we can learn um, so much about how we can live and live great lives. Lord, Lord, one of those ways is to encourage one another. And I simply pray that we can be an encouragement today, that we can um, brighten up someone's day, that we can show them a little glimpse of you through how we encourage one another today. Lord, be with us. Give us strength. Give us wisdom. Be with those who need you most, Lord. Heal those who are in need of healing, God. We love you and we praise you. And it's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. Thank you all for listening. Go and have a wonderful day.